Here in the UK, we might not have as extreme weather as in some parts of the world, but it can certainly still get cold. And when it gets cold, things can sometimes start to freeze. In even colder parts of the world, this is naturally an even bigger issue. For houses connected to mainline water pipes, how come they don't often freeze? When we go to the tap for a glass of water in the winter, it certainly doesn't start spitting out a few chunks of ice. Why is that? Hi, Danny Ward here, and in today's episode of Knowledge Care, we were discussing pipes. Don't say I don't spoil you guys. Many cities around the world are connected by a running water plumbing system, but it's not common to hear instances of it freezing over. A few reasons prevent the water from freezing. The main protection from the cold is that the pipes are laid deep within the ground, below the frost line. This is a level where frost cannot penetrate, and as such is able to remain a somewhat warm level. Additionally, another key reason the water in the pipes is difficult to freeze is that running water is under pressure. Stagnant still water freezes rapidly at or below zero degrees Celsius. However, when water is moving, there is more kinetic energy, meaning that the water molecules are moving faster and thus reduces the opportunity for intermolecular hydrogen bonds to form, which form the ice crystal structure. This therefore changes the water's freezing point. This is why some regions which are well known for their freezing cold temperatures all year round will adopt a water system whereby the water is always moving to ensure a lower freezing point. Many municipality water supplies use a branch and tree pipe network. However, colder places often utilize a spoke and wheel network that ensures the water is moving by feeding back in on itself and there's no stagnation. Pipe insulation to keep the heat in and the cold out is another factor. Pipe diameter is also very important. The wider the pipe, the more water volume present and as such will take longer to fully freeze through. Sometimes however, the dreaded can happen and the pipes can indeed freeze. If it just gets too cold for too long and the pipes aren't deep enough, the water will freeze. Certainly not the ideal situation makes bath time a bit more troublesome without the water there are ways to thaw the water, of course. Obviously, we could wait a few months and hope the temperatures rise enough to thaw the ice in the pipes, but realistically, that is not the great option. In today's world, we need running water. We had come to a grinding halt. We are very reliant on running water, and so removing access for a significant length of time, I wouldn't imagine would go down too well with the general population. One tactic cities have adopted for rapid pipe thawing is by attaching welding cables to a frozen copper or iron pipe to deliver a high current at a low voltage for a few minutes to a few hours. This method is effective, however there is some debate as to how safe this method is as there is a potential fire risk involved. Not exactly what you want when all your water is frozen solid. There'd be nothing to put out the fire. Another option involves utilizing steam to warm the pipe and melt the ice. However, this is much more time consuming, often taking several hours, and is more disruptive, requiring a plumber to cut off and expose the pipe for steam treatment, followed by pipe reconnection. But at least it won't necessarily go up in flames, which is a nice added bonus. So there you have it, an entire episode dedicated to pipes. Well, I need to make sure I'm appealing to my keen pipe enthusiast demographic after all. This has been Knowledge Care. Stay hungry for factuality. <laughs>